it's your girl OG Killer Kels, and you are tuned in to 20 Questions with Wheezy. I got one. Oh, what's going on? So, <laughs> what's up? Right, what up? So look, y'all, I got a special guest today by the name of OG Killer Kels. Hi. You know what I'm saying? She's dope, amazing, um, but I ain't gonna tell them what you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you do? Oh, man. I have started to go by a creative director now because it kind of oh. just like encompasses like everything that I do, but okay. to label it, I do photography. Okay. I do graphic design. Mm. I MC. Oh, you MC? Yeah, I MC. Um, I, I, th I throw events. Okay. Um, I don't want to say like I manage people, but I, I kind of take people and kind of help them on like the creative side of their career, whether so. it's like music. Like an advisor, yeah, something like that. You know, I don't want to say A and R because I don't, I don't get into I mean, like the nitty, the nitty gritty, like contracts and stuff. But I mean, that's kind of what an A and R does. Yeah, though. yeah. I mean, so yeah. would you label yourself A and R? I mean, maybe to a couple of people. Kind of, kind of got to that point. Kind of, kind of, yeah. I guess, yeah. Because you have clients. Yeah. I have, like, repeating clients. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah you, you know, so, yeah. So, okay. She ain't R, too. I'm A&R. Get with her. You Do you see me? why I'm calling it, like, I'm calling myself, like, a creative director? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. like, every time someone asks me, it's kind of, like, annoying yeah. to have to label all that. But, yeah. Okay. Anything that has to do with art, um, you know... I I just love I just love it. Okay. I just love it. Okay. And I'm always willing to learn something new. Like right now, I'm looking at I'm like podcasting and then like I'm looking into learn how to DJ. Cool. Cool. So. I sure I can help yeah. you out with that. Come on! I even thought about engineering for a second. I was like, oh, that's a lot. Hey, I can help you out with that too. That's okay. a lot. That's we'll a lot talk about that in a second. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> so, 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 uh, I know for me, I'm I'm new to the game mm -hmm. of photography. Mm -hmm. I'm fairly new. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been low key doing it yeah. for like three years, just haven't put myself out there. But when I was just beginning, I always used to see people tag Kales mm -hmm. or OG Killer Kales yeah. or, you know what I mean? I'm just like, dang, who is this? I ain't never seen her. I don't know who she is. Yeah. She had popped up out the blue, y'all. <laughs> like it was nothing. Um, but then I met you yeah. through a friend. And then I finally got to meet you. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's her. That's her. Mm -hmm. And still to this day, your picture is amazing. Like, thank you, Tyler. Like, you, you you just going crazy out here. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I need mean, still some techniques. Hey, come on. You know I mean? He's talking as if you're not you're not cold well, either. Well, but well, well, yeah. I appreciate that though. I yeah, appreciate it. No problem. It. No problem. Uh, so how did it, how did it start for you? Um, Where did you start? So I went to St. Francis originally for graphic design, okay. but I've been doing graphic design since I was like, I was one of those kids that was always in front of the computer. Oh, okay. So I self-taught, so yeah, so I, I like self-taught yeah. myself like Photoshop, but like okay. my parents always, they, they didn't necessarily push school, but it was kind of like, yo, you would probably yeah. should go to school, yeah. you know? So long story short with that, I got there and it was like they were teaching me stuff I already knew. Right. So I was like, well, maybe I should minor in something, you okay. know? So it ended up being photography and in any type of like college, I feel like <clears throat> they take you back to the basics. So they take you all the way back they to do. film. They do. Yeah. So I was in the dark room, you know, Dang. like. Yeah, she was in like the dark room, dark room like, shooting with film. Like where you had to like hang the pictures mm -hmm. up in the red room. Mm -hmm. You know, what? tossing the chemicals together and some oh, that's crazy. some of the pictures, you know, some of the roles, <laughs> I ain't get no pictures and stuff like that. So Dang. that was when I was like so intrigued about like the process. Right, all right. And then I realized like, well, we don't have no dark rooms here in Fort Wayne, like, you that's know, true. and it's expensive it to get stuff like that. So I was like, let's I, try digital. I don't know who does dark rooms anymore. I think there's still a film. I think there's like a little small business, like film. Oh, OK. Like company okay. here that that will develop it for you. But a okay. lot of times if I shoot film, I have to send it out. Right. Um, so we got to digital and once I learned like f-stop, aperture, um, all of that good stuff. And once I kind of mastered like manual, I was like, oh, mm. say less, you know? And like, okay. I feel like graphic design and photography go hand in <laughs> hand. Yeah. Um, I used to see stuff on like, that was back when Instagram was like really like 
like fresh. everybody's on Instagram yeah. type thing. So yeah. I was seeing all of these photographers like crazy angles or like using different modifiers for lights. Mm-hmm. And like when I got to the part of like studio right. and I learned gels, how I could bend light, how I can bounce light, it was like, mm. oh yeah, this is my jam. Like, wow, that's crazy. and I figured that out my senior year. So, okay. <laughs> so I kind of had, I graduated with a bachelor's with graphic design, but I still have photography on there. So okay. went to school so for a school totally group. different thing and that's found right. a different love for it. So yeah, yeah ever since then, I had my homies like for projects, like Deshaun, he would right, come right. through and I would flick him up for projects. Okay. And then shout we, out. Shout yeah, out shout out to to out. to Jesus. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, and I was just hitting up people like, yo, I don't know how this is gonna come out, but are you willing to come and sit? And ever since then I've fallen in love with it. So okay. it's something I'm good at. So I was just okay. like, well. I know when I when I do photos. Mm-hmm. I don't do the retouching either. Yeah. I just know how to take the good photo. Yeah. And then. I love that you said that. Yeah. And then I'd be like, okay, this is what I got to do. Mm-hmm. Because by the time I'm done taking that good photo, mm-hmm. it's already going to look good Come coming on. straight out the camera. Come on. It's, it's going to look It's gonna look like, dang. Now, if you got like this yeah. stupid crater on your. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to click that yeah. away. I'm going to click that away. But, I mean, if right. you come and like your makeup artist had two right. different color skin, like, I'm right. sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. love, but I can't. Crazy. We can reshoot. <laughs> but shoot, shoot, shoot. you know, that's but yeah, that's kind of how I I do that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> you're good. I'm sorry. I'm you're wrong. fine. Uh, so okay, uh, managing your life. Can okay. You say it back. So when I first met you, mm-hmm. you didn't have a child. I didn't have no baby. You didn't have no child. <laughs> right. You know what I mean, which, it wasn't in the cards. Which you love to death, by the way. Yes, I love my little August. Love Everybody probably knows who August is too. <laughs> but what what was the whole situation with that? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Without saying no names mm-hmm. or nothing like that, like like cause life is challenging. Yeah. Than having a child. Yeah. How do you manage to do photography, work and and take care of your child? Um, it's really like my village, you know, like the people <coughs> Excuse me, that helped me. Okay. Um, I work in ABA therapy, so I work with autistic kids. Okay. Um, so August is in daycare during that. And then I schedule out my shoots. I don't shoot until after a certain time. So that okay. gives me enough time to find a babysitter, drop him off, okay. all that good stuff. Right. Um, and then <coughs> I'm so sorry. So then what I've learned is I can't overbook myself. So during the week, I got a tight schedule from like six to eight. So it's kind of like, yo, I have these right, hours right. if you can't get it. The weekends I'm always open because, you know, me and his dad, like okay. we have certain days. So I'll okay. book on the days that I don't have August also, or like the weekends I'm open because I can either bring him okay. because he's at an age now where like he can just kick it with his little snacks and his TV show right. and he's good. Okay. Okay. I started bringing him too. Cool. So oh. it's definitely a challenge though. I don't sleep. <laughs> Right. I don't, I kind of have asked like my clients to like give me grace a little bit when it comes to like editing. Yeah. Because, because I don't do any it. editing until August is asleep. And right, that's not right. till seven o'clock, seven okay. thirty, eight o'clock. Okay. You know, so like finding that like that work life balance was like hard in the beginning. Yeah. And it got to the point where I stopped shooting for yeah, a while. I was, I, was, I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, I, I was stopped. Ask you about that. Yeah, I stopped shooting for a while. One, because life was just like really beating my ass. Like okay. I a lot of people are would tell me like, use all that, throw all that into shooting, which I did eventually, but like being a right. new mom and like And just trying to handle all that. <laughs> yeah, right. and like right. August also has I kinda don't really talk about this because mm-hmm. I don't like, I don't want people to pity me or feel bad, but my child has sickle cell anemia and he's a very Um, sickly child. So that causes me, you know, to have to take off work. We have hospital stays, all that good stuff too. So it just got to a point where I'm just like, all right, I need to sit down, 
regroup. Mm-hmm. Because before I had August, I was at everything. Like, like everything. Like, yo. I, I, saw you, I, I saw you at everything. Dreamers. Like, I was hosting Man, art right. shows. Was, I was, even before COVID, like, I was hosting yeah. art shows. I was hosting, well, shout out to my homie, uh, Cambry. Like, we had a, a open mic thing going. And right. we had we had a podcast called New Culture, which is kind of like the same thing me and you are both doing. Okay. Um, okay. And then we just tailored that into, we figured out, me and Cambry were really good at figuring out ways to make bread. Right. And, and man, hey, 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 that's a, that's a skill a lot of people ain't got. Yo, because that's one thing about me, especially having a baby now, especially mm-hmm. with August, like being sickly and like, <laughs> like this past, I've had, I've been off work for a, a while. Yeah. Um, so that's that's when I start. Yeah, throw a throw right. a ske- throw a special Christmas special. I had it, about right, ten right. people hit me for that. You know, like oh, that was rent. Sure. So. That's hard. It's, it's it it takes time, it takes patience, and I was also I'm somebody that is very I'm hard on myself also. So I feel mm-hmm. like I should be doing all of these things in reality. Like I think that break was needed. So when I came back, I came back slowly. Why? Right. And then I started picking up, picking up, picking up, and then things happened in life. Yeah. And I needed something else to focus on. Okay. So it was August in my work. August in my August work. So work. yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. much it. It don't. It's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. I can't, go many nights. Can't you know, staying up till two o'clock because I gotta get them their pictures and have to get right. back up at six or whenever August decides to get up. So. 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 <laughs> so I just found out. Mm-hmm. It's this thing uh, called sleep syndrome. Okay. And that's when people, mainly creatives, yeah. or people that just can't sleep, they only need like four hours of sleep, mm-hmm. and they get by. Yeah. And it's really called sleep syndrome. Really? Yeah. So there's a name for it. Yeah, there is a name for it. Yeah, there, <laughs> name for it. I, I definitely diagnosed me with that. The, <laughs> the only reason how I find that out is because my friend Ashley, mm-hmm. she's an engineer in Atlanta. Okay. She's dope, by the way, y'all. Okay. Check out Ashley Ashley at... Uh, on her IG, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I gotta follow her. Yeah, definitely gotta follow her. She produces a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, she had posted it because she be up like every day, mm-hmm. all night, mixing, mm-hmm. creating, mm-hmm. working, and she barely gets any sleep. Yeah. So she had made a post today on the story. I'm like, and I had read it and I was like, oh. There's a name for it. There's a name for mm-hmm. it because I know I don't get no sleep like that. Yeah. I'm going off for two, four hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, when I got to edit, I got to do pictures and do this and this. Yeah, and, and then you're staring at and, a screen. Yeah. Yeah. All types of times. Yeah, that. your hand's moving. And I'm like, oh, that's what it's called. So that's what we have. Yeah, and I talked to I talked to uh, Mark Braster. Shout out to him. That's my best hey, friend. I hey, love him. Hey, Mark so is much. the goat. <laughs> I wear a hey, look. Try, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Angel wearing it. Wearing that wasn't that wasn't a coincidence Angel though. I just pulled this. Mark. I was like, like yo, because so... I I don't put clothes. <laughs> Being a mom too, like yo, this is the first day I've worn jeans in like three weeks. It's been sweatpants, hair tied up, and stuff. So I wow. knew I was being public. But anyways. I Mark is kind of in the same situation with me where he got twins. He got twins. He got twins. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and so he's kind of like a he works from home with like his stuff and he yeah. don't get no sleep either. We actually was just talking about it last night, like the craziness yeah, of like t- trying to balance with all of that. Now you tell him it's a name. For yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, but Mark going crazy. He's going insane. He going crazy. Like he's. Right? he's- he working with all the major artists. He's right like now. in the actual industry. He, he yeah. in the industry. Yeah. And man, he is hard to get in contact with. <laughs> yeah, that's my best friend, with. but I, Crazy, I, I can attest to that. Right. I can attest you know to that. <laughs> you know, but a lot of people bang his line though. Yeah, like yeah, a lot yeah, of people a lot, and, a lot. and I feel like, you yeah. know, I feel like with people of like <clears throat> Even me and you, because I'm pretty sure your line's always blowing up in mine, too. Oh, you just get to a point where it's just like, it's okay to say, I'm not going to answer this call. I will call them later. Because I feel like if it's that important, you'll hit me with a text or you leave a voice message. Honestly, a lot of people just like to call and just be on the phone. Honestly, man, I'm going to be real with you. 98% of the time, I answer mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. I used to be like that. Because... For me, it's like, okay, this is my business. Okay. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. I can't, I can't step away from it mm-hmm. and be like, 
hey, yo, go handle that. Yeah. I got an assistant or something. I ain't got that. Yeah. So I'm everything. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when money calling, money calling. Yeah. But sometimes it don't even be about that. I'm like, dang, all right. I mean, you'd be annoyed because it's yeah, like, annoyed. Oh, what is you like, in my dang, life? Right. <laughs> all right, well, but that's cool, yeah. though, because sometimes we need that. Yeah. Sometimes we need that. But majority of the time, it's like, I don't have that downtime. Mm-hmm. I do. If I do, I got to create it myself. Yeah. And like, I right, ain't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. But whenever that phone ring or I get a text, I'm always you hitting that. Yeah. And yeah. it's a lot of it, too, is that work life balance where it's just like, because right. I get to a point where it's just like, why are they calling me? If I know. Now, of course, like if it's important, like if you hit me, yeah, I'm answering. Or if I don't answer, I call you back. Right, right. But sure sometimes that my phone, my notifications, I just started using Do Not Disturb. I used to be real nervous to do Do Not Disturb because Man, I would be so I nervous that I was missing something. I haven't used that. That's 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 the exact reason why mm-hmm. I don't use it. Because mm-hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. So now I just learned if someone calls you back to back, because on Do Not Disturb, it's you straight to voicemail. So if someone calls you back to back, the second time it'll go through. Oh. Or there's an option when somebody texts you, it'll say delivered quietly. And then at the bottom it says notify anyway. Yeah. If they hit that, if it's that important, then it'll pop up on your screen. I just okay. learned that. Wow. Okay. For all you iPhone tech savvy people, because this update was trash, so I really needed to like, <laughs> I really needed to figure it out, because I can't figure out the FaceTime screen. I see people talking oh, about that all the man. time. Yeah. I love you, Apple, but I'm not yeah. buying the 13. I just got the 12. Dang. Get it together. I got 13. I already know, and I I'm want it so here, bad you know? because you know that I'm camera is here. fire. It's crazy. I don't like talking to Tywell. Hey, no, I don't look, like talking look. to him because he <laughs> always has the the newest shit, and I be like, you motherfucker. Excuse look, my language, if mom and dad, if you're this. watching this, look, but look, we just talked about this. You said you work too, right? I work too, so I gotta get what hey, I gotta get. You know that's man? okay, but you have to because no. I've learned. <laughs> Getting by on things that you can't get by on really f up your business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, you working? Really. You got to like, run three programs on a 2009 Mac with the mm, in the in the the update is not updated. Like Apple and, and do Apple that. does that to you. Yeah. Even PCs does yeah, that PCs to you to the point team. where like you oh, got to upgrade. You've had me for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna you stop working go. so you can you get. Go, right, yeah. Right. So no, you, I agree. You, you've made enough money. Mm-hmm. Off no one, you made the money. Come on. No one, you made. Come money. on. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But no, I'm not like, I got to get that newest thing. Oh, right no, no. But it's just when you hit me up, you're like, oh, what you got? And I'm like, yeah, I just got the newest He thing. called me about wins. I said, you hey, trying to flex look, on me? Man, no. You trying to flex need, on me. Look, I need help for real. And I, and no. I went, it's your fault. Oh, my Because I bought God. the wins. I bought the wins. She was like, yeah, it's too easy. Go ahead and buy it. Uh-huh. And I went and bought it. Mm-hmm. Changed my life forever. Love the wins. Love the wins. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, what can I say? Love the wins. <laughs> but, man, that was, that was $600 I ain't gonna spend. You gonna make that back, though. Like, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. That's the thing, investing. Right. Your time see. and your money. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't get that. No. Anything that I spend, mm-hmm. anything I spend. You're gonna get it right back. I'm gonna make it back. Yeah. Or I'm gonna make sure I get it back. Yeah. Like, everything you buy from the camera to the video to the whatever you have, you make sure you get that. Mm-hmm. And we're back. 20 questions. Will Weezy. F baby. Please say the baby. All right. No, please don't say that. You're going to give me the copyright. Oh, man. You're going to get me in trouble. I had to get it off. Mm. Sorry. I'm here, though. Uh, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> She's about to get me in trouble, y'all. About to be on Weezy F baby everything. Oh, my gosh. No, oh, no, Lil Wayne. Please don't. Oh, uh, man. But yeah, no, like you, you gotta go get it. Like mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. you invest in. Don't 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 think it is like, oh, I'm spending money. Yeah. And you're like, dang, all right, I just spent the bag. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know what to do to get it back. Yeah. Nah, work, you grind. And that's the thing, if you don't know how to get it back, you should have bought it. You shouldn't have <laughs> bought it. You know you right. shouldn't have right. bought it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Man, you shouldn't have bought it. Mm-hmm. Like for real. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I may have a brand new Mac. Yeah. But you best believe I'm a hustle and bustler. Get my Turn money back. back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I noticed with this like newer generation, mm-hmm. they don't believe in that. They no. want they want everything right then and there. 
Yeah, social media did that a lot, a yeah. lot of that too. But that's our fault too, because we the creators. Yeah. We the creators. Because I feel like our generation was kind of that generation to like, we are a happy medium. Like, right. We grew up cool without with. technology, but then we also saw technology evolve. Right. So now right. with August, he loves Coca Melon. Yeah. And I'm just like, as you grow up, like I'm gonna make you go outside. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna make you, you know, do everything that I had to do. But we also have to realize that technology is here and it's not going nowhere. Right. So implement it the correct way. But social media has made it so obtainable to like, it puts like this unnecessary like pressure that we don't even understand on right, us right. because I'm 27 and I should I feel like I should be a lot Further. more. Fur yeah, ahead Further. than what I am. But then I have to pull back and realize like. I'm doing a lot more than a lot of people right now. Exactly. And you that's, are too. That's so the That's the key. When I start feeling like that, yeah. I'll take a break from social media or I'll hop off. You know it's hard because that's how we make our bread. Yeah, that's definitely how we make the bread. Yeah, that's how you make your bread. There's maybe an hour less, you know, or yeah. you don't have to check your phone. You can put it down. So, nah, yeah. Nah. I got to check my phone. <laughs> he said, gotcha. money calling. Not even that. Man, look, it's gotten to the point where it's like, like, I'll be hearing my phone. Well, sometimes I think I hear my phone. Oh, yeah. And there don't be nothing there. Like, yeah. Because cause I'm always used to hearing it. Mm -hmm. So it's like when when people don't hit me up or text me or like that, I get worried sometimes. Yeah. But then when I go MIA yeah. or decide to go MIA, people be like, hey, yo, where Weezy? Yeah, and where they be at? like that with me too. They, they be like, dang, mm -hmm. hey, where he at? Where Weezy? He ain't responding. He ain't doing this. He all right? Did he die? Yeah. Like, no. I'm mm -hmm. chilling. Yeah. It's like they can't function. It's yeah. like people can't function with certain without certain people, mm -hmm. which is good. Mm -hmm. That that means you appreciate it. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like I, I still gotta work and focus on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you have to be. That is important because that's something that I did not do very well in the beginning, especially mm -hmm. after having August, and it caused mm -hmm. medical problems. It caused, you know, things. I lost a lot of weight. Right. Not the correct way. So no, you still look the same. No, oh, no, thank you. No. Yeah, I didn't gain the back. Look, I'd be once August asleep. I like bang like the entire fridge. So you know, but you also have that self care is important. Right. You know, like Mac Miller has a song called Self Care. I love Mac Miller to death. R. I. P. But right. that whole album was kind of. You know, he passed right after that. It's kind of encompassing, like, as an artist, like, we go through these things, we deal with these things, and we sometimes we feel like we can't, it's wrong for us to, like, take a step back and, like, try to figure it out, but we're not good to anybody if we're not good to ourselves. That's kind of how I feel. So right. to be able to give your 100% to your craft and your clients, you got to be 100% yourself. Mm. So... A lot of life lessons in 2021. Uh, <laughs> a lot of life lessons. Okay. Yeah. So, so going into 2022, mm -hmm. what are your upcoming goals? What do you see yourself in the future? What, what do you see yourself doing? Um. So I'm gonna plug my podcast in right no, now. No, no, no. Um. I just announced That's earlier. What I've been waiting for. Yeah. You know I mean? Yes. Yeah, so I um just announced earlier this week that I have my new podcast coming out called The Vent. Um, and it's basically a safe space for creatives to just come and just be yourself. You talk about whatever you want. If you need to get anything off your chest, there's a portion on the show called The Vent mm. where I ask you like what really grinds your gears about like the industry that you're in. Okay. You know, so like with you, you will have to pick because you do a lot. But, you know, I have I've had I've had six episodes so far and six. You six in? I'm six in. Ooh, I've been okay. I've been working. I've been okay. working. Six yeah, in. Been working, like, Come on. No, for real. And every it's time just, I call you, you be like, oh, I just got done. He show. always calls or, when I'm recording. It's the doing. funniest <laughs> thing ever. And <laughs> I'd be crazy. feeling bad because I was like, I don't want him to think I'm dodging him, but I cannot don't pick up the feel, phone to record. Nah, don't feel bad. But if you're working, <clears throat> if you working, I won't never be mad. At yeah, you. Like, yeah, no, no. And I'm getting better at calling people back. Yeah. But um, I just feel like in the city, like this is great. Like what we're doing right now is great. We need more of this. We need more platforms for the artists to be able to speak. And it's also important for the client to understand the artists also, whether if you do music, photography, graphic design, understand their process because it can become very overwhelming and stressful okay. if they don't understand it. And the, the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> 
if I know it's going to take me two weeks, mm-hmm. say if I'm an engineer and we in the studio, you know, I got to mix all this other stuff. You kind of sleep banging my line asking where right. it is. Right. That's anxiety. Sense. And right. you killing right. my inspiration. I could have been tapped right. in in the zone working on this. I got to stop. Right. Now it's like, all right, well, I'm going to go on to something else and I'll come back. Right. You know, so <clears throat> if you like say if yours is like. I, like mine is, I hate when people are late because it throws off everything else that I have. You know, yeah, that's yeah, my pet peeve. Yeah. So it's that just a, my it's, biggest one, but, 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 that's, but that's one. I'm yes, doing. yes. So it's just a space for like for all, and I just feel like, especially a lot of black creatives here, there's nothing here for us to like be able to get to know each other or like commend each other. Um, or like even plug each other, you oh know? God. So I wanted to bring, I'm really big on like starting stuff from scratch. So I really right. wanted to bring That's something different and I wanted to do it the like legit way, legit way. Right. Like right. on DSPs, right. like you'll be able to go on Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, right. anything to listen yeah. to it. Um, not doing video right now. Eventually that's the goal. Like yeah. we are here, Man, but look, it's hard. yeah, yeah. It's hard. Um, it's hard. so that. I'm really trying to take 2022 to do more personal work. Okay. okay. Um, I'll still take clientele, but I'll post more of like, I really want to get into like documentary style shooting. Um, I also want to buy more equipment. Please. Um, yeah. I mean, Where I guess I can, at? I guess right. I can pull. Yeah. yeah. So like we have right Good here. Hands. Beautiful. Camera. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> Thank camera. you. So I have a Canon uh, EOS Rebel T7i. Yeah. And it's kind of like, um, if you want to start off shooting, mm-hmm. this is probably the best camera. What? Um, it comes with a 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Oh, Me, cool. because I have a child, right. a lot of my finances go towards that, okay. like towards him. So I've been working off, I've been shooting off a of kit lens. And they fire. Like, Thank you. Hey, yeah, it's like hey, I've been shooting off a of kit lens. Hey, I. Look. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. If you can make a kit lens work, you make a kit lens work, yeah, G. Yeah, yeah. Hey, imagine when you get that next level. Yo, up. and hey. shout out to my what? homie, Stefan. Um, Stefan, he does. He's hey, out. he going crazy. Yes. Oh. Hey, he, he going nuts. My man was just on the Matrix. Man, Mar- look, like Marvel. Look, like, look. he, I tweeted, like. He going in. I tweeted that I was kind of like the definition of like making what you got work right? because I had been shooting off a kit lens, you know, mm-hmm. he kind he, he retweeted it and was like, just imagine right. what, how crazy, what you just said, how crazy it would be. Yeah, so crazy. What? I just recently got off of one of my mentors, friends, um, a Nikon. It's an older Nikon, but it came with like a whole bunch of stuff. So 2022, I'm planning on using like all of that too. Okay. I really want to get back into hosting if COVID gets off of our necks. I really want to get back to hosting um, events. So that's kind of, and I want to get into music this year too. Like I love music so much. I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to rap, but like. But you just want to be a part of it. A part. And you know, okay. y'all know. Duan <laughs> or Lo. Um, I used to Sonic. sit Sonic Sound. Sonic Sound, Sonic yes, Sound. yes. I used to sit in on sessions when Bro. he was, you know, like Bro. when he was doing it out his crib when we first was like dating or like when he was in the studio okay. or whatever. And I tried a little bit to learn the program, but it was like one of those things where I was just like, there's so many intricate yeah, things so that I can sit down and do it. Yeah. So yeah. even if I DJ, even if I, you know, put playlists together, whatever, like I, I just love music. Like right. I grew up off of it and it inspires a lot of stuff that I do. So to right. be able to be tapped into something like that in any way, I would love to be able to do. So oh, cool. it's kind of long, but yeah. No, you good. Hey, <laughs> 20 questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, no, but honestly, that was uh, that was good though. Thanks. I think we really need to do this because yeah, we don't get to hang out and Mm-mm. like go get a coffee or I know I would love you to. You know what I mean or yeah. whatnot or you know what I mean chill, talk, create ideas and whatnot and really create and really inspire mm-hmm. other people to do stuff like this is like. So that's why this was vital. Yeah. You know what I'm saying this this was vital. They need to see people. That's trying to bring other people together. Yeah, for you sure. I mean? Like she always trying to bring people together. I always like and always, yeah. I just And that's how I am. Yeah. Like, like 
like for me it's like I could have all this knowledge mm-hmm. but if I'm not sharing it what am I doing with it yeah you know what I mean like I gotta pass it down and I I just learned about I just learned like the true definition of this word called gatekeeping where it's basically like you hit me you'd be like Kelsey I just saw that picture you did like how'd you get that right and me telling you, like, I'm not about to tell you how. I'm not giving you the keys. Like, to right, me, right. that's kind of like... That's hating. It's hating. hating. And it's selfish because it's like... Hating. You feel me? I'm not the only one that was able to do that shot. There's been right. people to do that. Like, you exactly. know, we we don't come up with things from scratch. Right. It's been done. Like, been done. and people, once you get that across your head and you're okay with that... Exactly. I would love to, like, teach kids yeah. about the camera. Like, yeah. I would love to, like, host little workshops... You know, like yeah, be hard. for be for kids who are just like thinking about it, and like their parents are kind of like, uh, yeah. still do it, like, but, you know? Yeah, because like when I was in high school, I went to New Haven, mm-hmm. and there was in the, I mean, I was in a photography class, mm-hmm. but I had to drop it because they said you had to buy a camera. Wow, they yeah. didn't provide it. No, they didn't provide it. Wow. So like, I kind of always had a niche for yeah. media anyway because I've been in it yeah. my whole life. But like when they said that, I'm like, dang, I got to drop the class. Yeah. Because I know my mom is not about to go buy a camera. Yeah. I know $2,000 like camera. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, <laughs> probably look at you be class, like, <laughs> right, like, uh, nah, hey. Nah. She probably would have came down to school and been like, why like, y'all ain't yeah, got no, that? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 so yeah. It's yeah. Like, so it's like just stuff like that. So now, like what I do now, mm-hmm. like I actually teach. Okay. I teach. Games. Yeah, you did tell me that, and I, I've yeah. always wanted to like ask you, like, what if you don't mind talking about it? I know this is like your show, no, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like you told me you're teaching classes. Like, what type of classes are you like teaching? So it's a music production class. Okay. You learn well. It's really for like middle school and high school. That's so dope. Times, YMCA. So I teach the kids. We get in the studio. I teach them about songwriting, Mm -hmm. teach them how to produce, Mm -hmm. how to engineer, Mm -hmm. how to structure a song from start to finish, and they love it. Mm -hmm. They love it. I've been doing it for, what, four to five years now. What? Yeah, 45 years. I ain't know. See, I learned something new. Every time I talk to Tywell, I learn something new about him. It's like (laughs) (laughs) never-ending. That is so awesome. Yeah, like, like, see, but but that's like I, I don't reveal all my moves. Yeah, I don't never say what I'm doing mm-hmm. when I'm doing it. I just that, pop up out with it. If there's something pop out that people it. do not take away, <laughs> if y'all can take one thing away, <laughs> just do it. Just please do it. don't, please don't tell me you you're about to do it. something and then you don't do it because it's very disappointing. Right. And then once you do drop something, it's very underwhelming. Right. Like, like this show, for instance, like this yeah. show. I talked about doing this show for two years. He's all, you told me about it, yeah. Like two years mm-hmm. straight. Mm-hmm. But I ain't have everything I needed. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I knew that. Yeah. And then I made one promo video. And that was it. That was it. That you know, manifestation, though. Like, you have yeah. to speak it into existence. Yeah. But you got to stand on it. Yeah, you got to stand on it. You know? And I feel like a lot of people, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do that. And then they wonder why they don't get taken seriously. Right. Cause you know, because they don't do it. Right. And then me, I just be dropping shoots. Right. You ain't here for me in like three weeks. Right. Oh, right. I've been quiet, but I've been working. Y'all been working. Like, you know? I swear, you, look, if it's one person that you be killing shoots with, mm-hmm. it's Stan Stan. Ah, oh, Stan. Swear. Hey, shout out to my boy Stan I Stan. love Stan. You know Hi, I mean? Stan. Look, hey, he be going crazy. He going crazy with his music right now. He mm-hmm. going crazy with the shoes. Mm-hmm. Man, he is killing me. Stan is one of those people that like really embodies what he wants to do. Like yeah, he literally, literally lives it every day. Literally. Like he's like the he's like the staple of a walking brand. Right. From content that's, to how that's, he that's really what he is. You know, from how he he's he's very strategic. He hits me and be like, oh gee. I want to do this, this, and this. He come with everything. I right. just got to shoot. shoot. And I appreciate clients like that because you really sat and I know that I'm doing this shoot for a reason. Right. Like, right. I know it, it, there's a reason. Like, and when he blows, because he will pop. I don't know when it's going to be, but when he right. blows, 
it's just gonna be good for him to be able to walk up to a label or even if he's independent and be like i got all of this work i got this is my catalog this is my promo for it like his rollouts are really good we chop it up all the time about what he's constantly working on like and i just (laughs) put some respect on creative's names yeah yeah don't look at it as hating, right. you know, don't look at it as like, don't, don't, don't see everything as negative. Like, oh, why is he doing that? Why right. is she doing that? Exactly. I used to have people talk about my photography too. And yeah. it's just like, you get to a point where it's just like, okay, okay right. you're not putting Man, no money look, in my pocket. So why am right. I? I don't care. I don't, Man, <laughs> you know, you but it takes, okay. it takes a while for you to get there as a creative it because takes, your, pride is, yeah, yeah. your pride is, yeah, your pride is hurt. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's something St. Francis, St. Francis, stripped every layer of skin on my body. I have the thickest skin because the critiques there, they literally were just like, no, that's not getting anywhere. Right. They wonder what what am I supposed to say? Like, but but guess what? It it takes that though. Yes. Because in the real world, you gonna get that. Yeah. You gonna get that. Yeah. And that's a hurt feeling if you ain't never been talked about or down like that, you mm-hmm. gonna you gonna wanna give up. Oh yeah. You gonna wanna give up. That's gonna you just push gotta your dream. Push through that. Yeah, you gotta push through. Yeah, because it just it thickens your skin. So I just I say that all to say like everybody just support each other. And we all it'll be, you know, easier. Yeah, I'll it'll be easier. <laughs> but yeah. Shout out to Stan Stan. Man, you doing your thing, great. love. Man, so y'all so look, man. This is a good episode of 20 Questions. Oh, you know what I, mean? so I don't. This I'm going to plug good. her, though. You know what I mean? You can um, follow her. At what, what, what they, what they got to follow you at? Um, I am on Instagram, OG Killer Kells. I'm Kelsey Martin on Facebook. I have a like page, OG Killer Kells, which 2022, I'm going to get better on posting that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much what I'd be on. I'm on Pinterest. If you guys want to see like my inspiration, I have all of my boards and stuff up on that. Okay. Um, like I said, follow It's The Vent Pod on Instagram um, for updates. And I'm dropping the first episode January 1st. Hey, so okay, top of the year. My homie t Weezy is going to be on hey. there also. Yes, sir. Um, so, yeah, I just, before we end, I just want to say thank you oh, yeah. um, for creating this and for asking me on because, like I said, like, this is really important. And yeah. I know you was tossing me some flowers, but I got to toss right. you some, too, oh, because. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. You say my pictures are hard, but like your work as a whole is hard and it's just really good. I've always heard yeah. about you. Right. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the same way I never put a face crazy. to it. Right. Yeah. That's to crazy. you, you know? And then I think, right. I think Lo was the one that yeah. we was at. Um, what was like, that club? Uh, uh, dream. No, no, no it was, it was like all the way out on, um, over by the hospital. The Rusty Spur? Oh, yeah. Is that, was that what it was called? I don't think it was called that then, but I, but yeah. You took a picture I mean, of yeah, us, yeah, you yeah, know? You yeah. took a picture of us, and then that's yeah. how I met you. Cool. So ever since then, you know, I followed you on all your socials and stuff, yeah. and... Didn't know I was doing all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, he was like, and then, I, and then I just started seeing you, like, pop up. Yeah. So I said that all to say, I know. We cut for time, but I said that I would say, like, you're dope, and everything that you're doing is going to pay off, like, I promise you, like, stay in the fight with me, dog, stay in the fight with me, and, you know, always love, love, so, I appreciate y'all. So, yeah, you know, it's another episode of 20 Questions with Weezy, you feel me, you tuned in with your boy, catch you next time, you know what I mean, yes, (laughs) sir.